Knowing a great deal about the land, the atmosphere and the oceans is necessary, but by itself not enough. They work together as an Earth system. A better understanding of the interactions is needed to assess the evolving climate and the risks of climate change to our renewable resource security. For instance, how do actions taken on the land affect the flows and quality of water in the rivers? And how do these influence coastal ecosystems? How does the energy in the mighty Ogullis and Benguela currents control our climate? How does the climate define the potential of the land? How will these factors that shape southern African ecosystems respond to climate change and what kind of risks might our development plans be exposed to in the 21st century? There are many institutions with detailed knowledge of pieces of the Earth system, but few can put them together to understand the bigger picture. One of the most important elements in this picture is people. In the 21st century, humans have become the dominant force of nature. In line with the CSIR's national mandate, our research strategy prioritizes those issues where a system-wide view is essential. The Earth System Pyramid is what we study. We rotate it to view it from many different angles and zoom in on particular aspects. Our projects are probes into selected parts of the pyramid or slices through selected sections, but they are undertaken within the knowledge that they are parts of an overarching system. Our competencies, capabilities and platforms can be thought of as the machinery which fills up the pyramid. For example, in the vast Southern Ocean we measure the uptake and release of carbon dioxide and the profiles of temperature and salinity. On land we have operated a tower near Skakuza for a decade, measuring the seasonal growth of the savannas of the Kruger National Park. With the aid of satellites which view all parts of the region and models which capture our best understanding of the processes at work, we can spread our observations over the whole subcontinent and the regional oceans. We keep a finger on the pulse of our world, specifically the part in which we live, the Southern African Regional Earth System. This is the Earth which we inhabit and on which present and future generations depend. As humans bend and stretch it to meet our growing needs, we must understand its potentials and limits. That is our mission.